now that's sorted, we can go on a little road trip north. Hi. Oh, no! I lost my breath. Welcome to the Summer's Ferry Inn. I'm on my way to Dwayne Bay. But before I get there, I wanted to stop at a different spot, which is really cool. It's called the Pinnacles, and I'm going to show you around in a minute. So I am now at the Pinnacles Desert. And it is bloody hot, Jesus. But I'm gonna soldier on, I'm gonna walk through here and I'm gonna explore a little bit because it is a very cool area. two hours north of Perth so if you wanted to day trip up here if you don't have much time but you want to see something really cool and different this is the place to come there's so many They're everywhere it's a big area covered by those pinnacles scientists aren't actually too sure how they developed like they have theories like this is all limestone and we're in a sort of sand dune area but how exactly they formed they're not entirely sure yet Oof, good sand in my eye so as I said earlier, scientists actually don't really know how these pinnacles formed. What we do know is that they are limestone and there's fossilised sort of um, shells and stuff from the ocean. The ocean is just, it's literally right there. And this is kind of a sand dune area, so sand's been shifting around, exposing, covering up these pinnacles. That's basically what scientists know. They have an, a theory that um, plants are sort of a catalyst to all of this, but how exactly they don't really know. And they do know that these pinnacles are probably about 500,000 years old, so the formation probably can be dated back to the Ice Age. And they also know that these pinnacles um, recordedly, like they can prove that they have been not covered by sand a good 6,000 years ago, and then they got covered up again. And now they're uncovered again. So the sand's constantly shifting. The sand dunes is burying them and uncovering them, depending on the wind, of course. So it's an ever-changing environment. How exactly it formed, nobody knows. All I know is they're absolutely pretty. Here's a fun fact. There's a type of insect living here that kind of burrows under the ground and has like little canals forming on the sand and it's called a sand groper. And this is how other states in Australia refer to people from Western Australia. They call them sand gropers. That's not very nice, is it? Well, this is it. I'm getting too hot. I'm going back into my little car and I'm heading to Durian Bay now. We're going to be setting up camp for the next two nights. I have arrived. Now I gotta pitch my tent and it's quite windy and I'm just on my own. Exhausted. <laughs> the tent is up on my bed. Uh, I'm so sweaty. I'm so hot. I'm gonna go and get a coffee now and some put my feet in the ocean or something. <laughs> oh god. Alright. I'll see you when I feel like a human being again.
and I see So this is Durian Bay. I've made it. I'm right down by the beach. The campground is really not far from here. Um, you can walk like it's, it's a minute, it's right by the beach. I've got something really cool planned for tomorrow. And I'm not going to be telling you what it is just yet. But you can get excited. Like, it is cool. And that's um, something Dream Bay is actually really famous for. I left Mark at home. He didn't really want to camp or do what I've got planned for tomorrow, which is fun by me. And I'll be seeing him in a couple of days. Meantime, I'm going to enjoy my time up here. He's swimming, I'm walking. But he keeps always next to me. All day, we spin around, we spin around, your hand reaches But now he's gone. Just give me a mountain to climb. You see. Alright, this is it. This day is finished. See the pinnacle sit I went for a beach walk. Had my little friend the Comoran <laughs> going for a walk with me. And yeah, I think I'm gonna cook myself some dinner now and then I'm going huddle up in my little tent. So if you enjoyed today's video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Alright, tschüss! <laughs>